Well, Joseph Dana is a writer and journalist based in Tel Aviv. He joins us now live. Uh, Joseph, a summer of economic discontent in Israel. What is it exactly, though, that people are protesting about? It's not just the high cost of living, and yet they don't appear to have clearly defined objectives. Yes, the protests have been, uh, as you can see behind me, really spontaneous and, uh, and quite amazing. I've never seen anything like this in Israel before. And they, they started because of economic reasons, but they've been uh, using the slogan that the nation, the people, want social, social justice. Although it's absolutely not clear what social justice means. Uh, as you're familiar, in Israel and, uh, and Israeli politics, no issue is, is, uh, is without connection to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the occupation. And yet uh, protesters and protest organizers have been very, very silent on these issues specifically. And in fact, they've, they've said that they do not want to discuss uh, political issues such as those relating to the Palestinians. Is that because now is not the right time to do so? They, they want to allow these protests to grow organically and they may well tackle the issue of inequality uh, for all those living under Israeli control later. Well, that's what, that's what the official line has been. Now, these protests have been going on for a month, and they've only gained uh, momentum as they've gone on. Right now, there's something like 85% of the Israeli public is in support of these demonstrations, and yet they still maintain the line that they are apolitical, meaning that they refuse to discuss issues of the occupation. Now, some radical leftists, or what we would call radical leftists, have told me that the protests need time in order to... Uh, to discuss issues of occupation and uh, and the international community and observers need to give the protest that time in order to see if it develops. Yeah, you mentioned the radical leftists. The government has tried to label these protesters left wing. Are they and, and why as far as the government is, is concerned uh, is an accusation of being left wing such a slur? Uh, well, in, in Israeli politics, everything's on a, on a very stark right-left divide, the left being uh, associated with Palestinian rights. And the, the sad reality is that if Israelis discuss Palestinian rights, and specifically the rights of Palestinians under uh, Israeli occupation, they very quickly lose uh, public support. Now, we've been waiting, as, I, as I've said, and given the protest a, a number of, uh, of weeks here to develop any sort of criticism about the occupation. And I think if there is no criticism of the occupation, it will provide absolute proof that Israeli society is not ready or willing to discuss this occupation and will not be able to end it itself. Joseph, it's been good to talk to you. Many thanks indeed. Joseph Dunner in Tel Aviv.